Welcome back, Kikron fans, and this is the second game for tonight, another exhibition match, this time on Shield Gasket, between Elliot N and Shoes. Shoes was one of the players we would have had in the tournament, or, wait, what? I... What the? Oh, I'm sorry, this is the replay I already did. <sighs> I'm sorry. You know, this is really bad of me. I don't know why it... What? I thought I had... Okay, that's weird. I thought I had downloaded that... One second. Please bear with me. I thought I had the replay I wanted to cast, but I don't. I am getting that right now, and will be shortly getting into the cast I want. Uh, this is really, really stupid. I don't know why this just happened. Anyway. So, as I was saying, going to be doing a cast of... Elliot and Shoes on Remnant Springs, actually, not on... Just double-check, I need to... Sorry, it's going to be harder to find if I don't do this right. Anyway, so, with Shoes versus Elliot N, this is apparently... This actually kind of got requested at the last second. I thought I had this game, but I guess I didn't. Anyway, starting up. So, Remnant Springs is an old map. We haven't really seen it very much in a while, since so actually, I think the beta tournament. I think it was actually in... Oh, crap. Thanks a lot, Shoes. Anyway, I don't think it was in the... I don't think it was in Terminal Anomaly Season 1. Regardless, Shoes is in the bottom left corner. He is currently paused, and he is playing CISO. Elliot N is paused in the top right corner. I don't know what he's playing yet, but he is playing Vecchio. Okay, so CISO versus Vecchio, like last game. Shoes is going for a rather quick 5 RPs, while Elliot N is going for a more conservative economic build as well. And he is actually paused right now, just setting up his perfect start. While Elliot N does that, Shoes... Well, Shoes obviously can't really show what he's doing because Elliot N's paused right now. Elliot N going for 5 on LC, he'll probably go for 6th on LC. But he might go for QP, if he does that means he's going to be going for a faster... Oh, what? Sorry, Shoes has gone for an odd setup. He has 22 LC, which means he's building a comm center early on. Interesting. So he's going for a very quick comm center with, as opposed to anything else. And Elliot is going for quick QP, which means he's probably going to get some quick... Uh, quick Depot, quick Zion Pulsar from there. Should be very interesting. Lots of harassment going on. Not a lot of slow play, not a lot of tech play. And this is a very small map, so I don't... Say, I, I can't say I'm surprised. I didn't expect people to go for very heavy tech play. And Shoes is, in fact, going for Importer. I guess that... That comm center was in fact a mistake, so he's going for four RPs and one import, and the fifth RP afterwards. So fairly standard opener for CISO. Bit faster, bit safer, get importer up, get reserves up, and you can start building more infantry or building quick ATCs, lancers, whatever you want from factory. And Elliot N is almost there with his Shinveer and Tethveer. They're scouting around the map to see what shoes is and what he's up to. And it looks like they are going to be reaching the base fairly shortly. At least the Shinveer is. And the Tethveer appears to be... Is that even trying to keep reordering it towards the base directly, or what? Anyway, with the Tethveer, it is... It doesn't really matter. The point is, Shoes is probably not going to have to deal with this in the final iteration. It looks like Elliot is probably just Echo Scouting, seeing what Shoes is and what he's up to. Now that he knows, they should be able to get this in and... I don't know, he's got Tethbeer and Shinbeer coming in. He might actually be doing serious damage. His Shinbeer is going out to the right side of the south east corner of the map. I don't think he's building a foundation there, but it would be kind of cool if he did. He is getting a depot up fairly late if he's going for a harassment strategy. And he is also going to deal with the scouting infantry from Shoes coming in and getting rid of his beer class units. I'm surprised Elliot is actually hanging out here. I mean, obviously he wants to know when expansions are happening, but the Shinbeer and could be used for expansions of their own. Well, the Shinbeer, at least. Tethbeer does build comm hubs, which is useful, but not as useful as it could be. So, this will be... I think at this point, this is Elliot N's favor right now. Shoes hasn't built a whole lot. Shoes does have a fair amount of RPs, but he hasn't... He has a factory, he has more RPs coming in, while Elliot N already has his depot up. Depends really on what the players do from here. It looks like Shoes is very quickly going for an expansion, and will be needing more production facilities. If Shoes builds more production facilities, I'd say... It's going to be much better for him. Elliot N needs to start building some vehicles, though. And he isn't, which he really needs to do. He had the build for quick design pulses, and he's not getting design pulses for it, so not taking advantage of what he has. 
Choose, on the other hand, is, like I said, going for an expansion. Really needs to be building some more. Probably another importer or two, and another two or three factories at this point. One more armory coming in, not a bad idea in expansion, but still needs more production facilities. While Elliot N, on the other hand, is at the 304 mark, and getting a comm hub right next to the base, very good idea. That way he'll be able to see what's going on more easily inside the base, or near the base. Good place to put it, too, because it's harder to see. And here we are. Here is the Zion Pulsar. Still about a minute late, but it's there nonetheless. And the Zion Veer in the south... In the northwest corner should probably be expanding fairly soon, so Elliot N looks to be going for an expansion, but slower than Choose. Choose definitely still has a resource advantage right now, and just needs to take advantage of it. Here's the second importer, so he needs more factories, needs more production facilities. And in the future, he's getting a macrofab, so that works for me. And another factory, so yes, he is getting more production facilities, getting more high-tech production facilities, taking advantage of his tech, and getting machinery as well. So he's definitely getting the units he needs to get, and tech he needs to get right now. Getting Mars and Torna is not a bad choice, especially since we are going to be seeing some Zion Pulsars coming in from Elliot N. Once the Zion Pulsars actually do something, it'll make a difference. But Elliot N is not taking advantage of this. I'm surprised he hasn't really done anything at this time. He appears to be doing some future scouting, but not actually taking full advantage of what he knows. And not building a lot of units either. Getting a Shin Turcher now, getting a Shin Turcher and Teth Turcher. But I'm. Under the impression this is a bit more reactive than anything. There was an ATHC that came up earlier, which will be dealing damage for shoes. But the Tornado is the real threat. Here's the ATHC. So this ATHC is probably what Ellie then is trying to counter with the Shin Turcher. Given, however, what's coming up, really... Well, Shin Turchers aren't a bad idea. But he really should still be getting something solid on the ground to deal with the buildings, because Shin Turchers don't do a great job against buildings and... Twin Mars coming in! Oh my... So now we're getting Twin Mars in. So Mar, Twin Mar, and MFB will be coming in for shoes. Which means that Elliot and Washley have... You know, maybe Elliot should be going for air. Because that will be at least a way of getting away from the Mars. However, that being said, there is still not a whole lot of trouble for shoes to switch to air if he wants to. And that way counter the, the Shin Turcher if he wants to switch to frigates. And that would be an easy way of doing so. I almost want to say just... Man, this is kind of tough for a Vector player right now. Really, all Elliot can do is try to build up what he can, get the expansions he can, and defend until he gets a large enough army to deal with this. The Mar and Twin Mar, of course, are not great against units that... Well, Mar is great against units that are clumped up together, and neither unit is good against air, so really air is probably Elliot's best choice. But he is not committing to air. He's getting that one Shin Turcher still going for Zion Pulsers. So he'll trade off the Zion Pulsar, but with the Shin Turcher, he's gonna. That's really where he's gonna be able to get any real advantage. And he's trying to attack as best as possible the expansion by Shoes. Keeps going back and redoing the attack, and he's going for the armory. Very bad idea. Should be going for the RPs, and the factory is coming as well. Should be going for the RPs. Should be going for stuff that actually matters. The CISO buildings take a long time to go down. And. Shinters are coming in to get rid of this ATHC to stop it from attacking his base, so it's the 507 mark. This is the base stack would have happened around here, and now is being preempted. So Elliot doing what he can to preempt everything Shoes has done. Shoes, on the other hand, still is going to be able to get... Well, still getting his Mars. Getting frigates, like I said, this is something you can do very easily, is get frigates. And there isn't a whole lot that we're going to counter right now. Like, I'm surprised Tet Searchers have not been built up yet, and of course the mech as well. So, Zion Pulses are a good idea, though, and it's good that Elliot then does have them, because that will mean he'll be able to start attacking it with against the, against the mechs, start dealing damage against the buildings. The frigates are still powerful, but they won't be as effective against it, and will be... Well, he will have to deal with the Mars, and that's where it's going to become a problem. So, Elliot then really just needs more units, honestly, of any types. He needs more units, needs more vehicles, needs more of an expansion. He choose does have an advantage, largely because of his economy, and this economy is going to be able to carry him forward, get more tech, get more units. He is quite at liberty to change around his build right now, so... Really, Elliot is playing on the defensive and has to react to everything Shoes does. He isn't in a very good spot, and... Really, he is not going to be doing any good against this Special Ops team. All of them are killing each other, only one of them needs to actually be attacking, and... As far as Elliot is not moving around the side, Pulsar is not going to be able to kill anything right now. So, there is no reason it should be staying there, it's going to his death. And it's at the 558 mark, and it looks like the Shin Turcher has been repaired, is being sent in for a second attack. But a frigate lies in wait, and we'll be able to get rid of it in no time. So, 
looks like Shoes will be getting a Mar, a second Mar very quickly, and from there he will be able to build some Twin Mars if he wants to. He may have aborted that. However, Twin Mars aren't a terribly bad idea, given that there aren't a lot of units from Elliot N, but Elliot N could easily build. No, he can't easily build a lot of units. He needs to get more RPs. He is getting more RPs, which is good. Actually, he's getting. Looks like he's getting a Zion Gear here as well, so the West expansion will get more RPs. And Ground Units is being built for Shoes. This is what he needed to build the Twin Mars in the first place. We're at the 640 mark, and this is considerably later than when he had Twin Mars before, if he is getting them. But it looks like he is continuing to stick with Mars, not going for Twin Mars this time around. And this will mean he will be able to get rid of Shoes' base far more easily. Shoes, however, is focusing on Air and on Teth Churchers as well. Another Teth Turtle, he should be actually in the clear. If he gets another Teth Turtle, he will be able to take care of the frigates. And that will actually push him forward a bit. The Mar tanks have a hard time dealing with air, like I said, so the Shinjurks will be able to take care of them, no problems. But he isn't getting any units. Elliden is getting Gay Tank, but he's not getting Teth Turtle. He's not using the Teth Turtle. He has to fight the Tornados, and he really should be, and both players are focused at this time, and Teth Turtle is not being used to attack. I'm surprised Elliden has not started to attack with it yet, and he really should be. He should be going back and actually attacking with it. There he is. Now it's getting off the ground and start to attack, but only because the Tornado actually came in close. So Elliden will be able to deal with this decently well. And get rid of the Frigate as well, so enough units managed to get rid of that Frigate and Tornado team. So now Shoes does not have any Frigates, but he does have the resources to get them if he wanted to. And back when he is about half a minute ahead of Shoes, he is getting a second Frigate, and he is also in possession of three Mars, and enough units to get rid of everything that Shoes has right now. And it looks like Shoes is getting... Sorry, Elliot has right now. Shoes does not have any worries right now. I completely confused the players for a second there. Shoes does, however, have his Tornod and Frigate retreated, so that will be another small asset in his little army. So two Frigates will be coming up and Tornods. And a Comb-Up is coming in right next to his base, so Elliot is going to be well aware of when the attack occurs. But of course it's right now, so he doesn't even need to worry about that Comb-Hub. What he does need to worry about is either taking advantage of Gate Tech that he has, but seriously, he's going to be able to do that in time, or just getting enough units. The thing is, he doesn't have the units to really keep Gate Tech safe. That's the problem. He will be able to teleport around a lot, which helps, but he's not going to be able to keep it safe. And that's the important thing, is to make sure that he actually is able to research Gate Tech and not die in the process. Building a foundation would be a really good idea if he wants to actually take advantage of it for the slipcase. If he's just using it for skip teleports, okay, but... Really, that's not what you need to worry about. Position isn't the big problem right now. The big problem is being able to actually deal with all these forces, actually having the forces deal with them. However, that being said, Shoes is going out of position with two frigates and two tornados. Possibly getting out of position, which would give Elliot N a bit of a break if he's able to attack this, and he is going to get. He does have gate tech now, so he could teleport in if he wants to, and get a much better position a lot more quickly, and he's not doing that. He is not teleporting his units in, which is very surprising. He is getting teleporting his RPs out, good idea, but he's not teleporting in his units, and he is getting rid of the Frigates. Tornod is also going down to the Shin Turcher, and yes, he is actually going to be able to deal with this. So, Shoes, like I said, put himself out of position in a really bad spot, and Elliot appears to be just double-checking what's going on with his attack, and teleporting in what he needs, just possibly the unplayable pass rather surprisingly. But it looks like he was trying to, yeah, he was trying to save his Tat Turcher, which did have very little health, so good idea. However, Shoes still has a very large army, mostly Mars, so not too difficult to deal with with the Shin Turchers. But Elliot is going to have to deal with that nonetheless. And more units coming in from the right, so Shoes has another Mac Prep coming in on the east side and another factory as well. So he's got quite diverse production set up. No real base, nothing that's one eggs and one basket for all of his eggs. He does have only three Mac Preps and three factories, however, but he doesn't have the resources to handle many more. This is a good amount. All he really needs to do right now is... Well, actually, he could handle... No, he could handle two more factories and two more macro fabs. Because he's queuing quite a bit. Nice. Sorry about that. But he is getting himself... A... He's getting himself another frigate. More frigates! Definitely the best idea that Shoes can do right now. Shoes has excellent map control. And this is where Elliot gonna... This is why I was so confused about what Elliot could possibly do. Shoes has units everywhere. He has resources everywhere. Elliot N has Gate Tech and a Chrono Porter and a ton of Zion Pulsers. So, his only real hope right now, we take these Zion Pulsers back and probably take care of this base because it wasn't. Or, sorry, this. No. This base is 
poor, poorly defended. Unless he teleports all the way back to here. And yes, he has actually teleported. And no, he's he's teleported back and is attacking the west side of the base. Protecting the RPs that he has already. Getting rid of the defensor is actually not a bad idea either. He will, however, be heading, getting the units head on. And will oh, will he win? I don't think he will win. No, Zion Pulse are in a really bad spot. He's in playable pass, of course. So he's not in a, he's in a terrible position right now. These Martangs were able to take advantage of the position advantage. But Zion Pulse are able to start attacking. And that will be enough support. It looks like this attack will be thwarted. Shoes will lose his entire west side army. But his east side army is still going strong. And the army in the center is holding the center, but he's not developing it yet. He is developing it, however, at 1343 mark. We were at the 11, or the 1212 mark. And now, Shu sees what's going on in the Implayable Pass and realizes that he's lost his west side army. He's going to have to deal with that further in the future. And he is actually dealing with that by attacking the Slipgate. It looks like this was well after the Chronoport, however. The Chronoport was right next to the Implayable Pass, and Tethered was also Chronoported back to help deal with this. And it looks like that will be helping out a little bit, but not as much as it would like. And the mech is able to get rid of this, so now Shoes still in a bad spot, does not have any corner force left. And this Lipgate, like I said, as we saw, will probably die to Shoes' his frigates. But Shoes looks to be actually undoing his attack. That being said, despite this massive attack that came in on the west side and protected Elian's west side, he's not taking advantage of the massive resource piles he has. And using them to build more units, because he can build units further in the future, current put them back, and use that as support right now. He is not doing that. Shoes, however, is getting gate tech of his own, and he does have the units, he does have the resources, and he does have the position to actually make good use of this. Beyond sending a little uppercut. And right now, Elliot going in for the kill, or trying to go in for the kill, it really is all nothing attack, but this is gonna be the nothing part, because he does not have the units to deal with what Shoes has. He didn't have enough units to deal with not just this, but also the other armies coming in. And now current Porter coming in for Shoes, so. This is going very poorly for Eliadan. Eliadan sending back more units and will be dealing quite a bit of damage with them. Probably. Shin Turtles coming in and no, actually not much damage at all. It looks like Shoes has some great defense with his mechs. Like I said, all those bases are well defended, so there isn't much of a chance for Eliadan to actually deal with what's going on. Shoes is still taking a lot of damage, but not a whole lot of meaningful damage. He does have a Chrono Porter up and he does have a still checking at Eliadan's time. Eliadan sees. Actually, no, this is the Chrono Porter. Was it built in time? Because I know the Chrono Porter was fairly recent, and it looks like Elliot N did manage to get around it. So, Elliot N's Slipgate has been destroyed further in the future, but he does have a lot of Zion Pulses coming in regardless. Well, see the Zion Pulses that came in originally. Yes, he is focusing on the Unplayable Past, and the Unplayable Past is not being kind to him. So, that's Slipgate coming in, and Turret coming in as well for the mech. Two turrets coming in, so the mech's just building up the turrets, and... I'm not sure where that Chrono Porter went, why he didn't build it the second time around. So it looks like Shoes did not have a Chrono Porter ultimately, and... Oh, I guess the mech must have been destroyed by this Zion Pulse attack, so Elliden did manage to reinforce it somewhat, but still not enough. He doesn't have the units he needs. I th I'd say Ted Hawkins, or possibly Shin Hawkins, would be useful right now, because Elliden does have the resources for it, but he does need to, he needs to go into the future, get Hockey in class, get the units he needs, and start sending them back and dealing with what Shoes has, because Shoes, his biggest thing is map control. So Elliden, while he's doing a lot of damage to individual groups, he isn't dealing a lot of damage to the actual force. The entire force, the entire economy that Shoes has. And now Zion Church is coming in to deal with this. We'll be able to get rid of these Mars fairly effectively, but... Now he saved the, he saved the subgate, he's not sending the units back right now, but he is... No, he is now. Okay, he's got the units back, not doing anything with them, just sending them for defense to help keep that subgate alive a bit longer when the Martanks actually ultimately come in. So Shoes is going to have a harder time dealing with that Slipgate. He's going to have to send more units to do so. But it looks like even in this iteration... No, we have the Defense Turrets right now actually taking care of the Zion Pulsers. Sorry, Zion Churchers. And the Zion Churchers will be able... No, they will be able to take care of this mech. And that mech will be dead. So the Defense Turrets are not up. The Defense Turrets are not going up. There's not any scouting going on. So these Zion Churchers are going to be able to do their job. And these two Defense Turrets are not going to exist ultimately. So... The only problem, though, is Elliot has just this base. And right now, the future does not bode well for him. The blue time wave is going to be keeping him alive. And it looks like the green time wave is confirming it, so there's no paradox. But there is still only one base compared to Shoes having everything else. Everything else is... Look, look at all the blue in the map. That's all Shoes. Shoes is in a great spot. Blackbird's coming in as well, so all of his units are getting healed up regularly. And his army has just been growing this entire time. Like, 
There really isn't any one thing Elliot could do. The problem was that Elliot didn't build enough units throughout the game. He was focused on early gate tech, didn't focus on expansion or securing expansions. He got some uppercuts to help secure in the west side, but he didn't get anything to help secure it ultimately. He didn't build any foundations or defense turrets or anything. He didn't even get auto defense. So he didn't have what he needed to hold off shoes and certainly didn't apply much pressure. He isn't also sending any uppercuts to apply any pressure, so right now Elliot N is in a terrible spot. He does have the Zion, Pulsar, or Zion Church is going back, but he ran out of QP as a result of that attack, of this attack actually succeeding this time around. So ultimately not saving that West expansion and losing this attack. So yes, actually, not such a paradox, but certainly it didn't work out due to fewer Zion Churches coming in to save him. So at this point, Elliot is in a very bad spot. Shin Churches are here to help out. That was Shin Churches that was torn aboard back quite some time ago. We're in the 13 playing mark again. And doing well up to the 17.2 mark, we see that even with the Zion Turtles coming in here, there isn't any chance. There it really isn't. There's... Was there a Chrono... No, that Chrono Port was done. Ah, the Chrono Port is right here, so it looks like we are sending back... Yeah, we're definitely sending back some heavy cruisers, and those... Well, Chrono Fragging themselves, unfortunately, but... No, we're actually paradoxing out with... Wait, what? Oh, Elliot must have, sent, must have just managed to send back what he needed when he needed it. And yeah, he's accidentally... So, Shoes has actually chrono his units and doesn't seem to realize it yet. And it looks like he will be having a much harder time attacking from there. That being said, the Paradox isn't going to be a big deal. On account of the fact that he does have this entire West Side Army which is attacking from the West, of course. That will still be dealing enough damage to be a problem. So right now, looking from Elliot's point of view, it's not really a paradox. It's still a lot of damage, but it's not really a paradox. I just need to double check from the observer's point of view what's going on in this blue time wave here, because it looks like here we have the heavy cruiser coming in. Nothing really effective coming in from there though, and Martang also not dealing enough damage to deal with this. It looks like ultimately what happened was that. Zion Church that got Chrono Ported back actually ended up fighting alongside the Chrono Clones, ultimately winning the day. Well, not ultimately, of course, Elliot still has a terrible position right now. But Shoes is still going to have a hard time dealing with what's going on. And, sorry, not Shoes. Elliot is going to have a hard time dealing with what's going on. Shoes has no problems getting through this. All he needs to do is attack. Getting all of his forces to attack will be done. The game. The game will be done if he does that. And I, I can't speak today. More heavy cruisers coming in from Shoes is still in the unplayable past. It's going to go back to the present, and we will see from Shoes' point of view, lots of cruisers coming in. Of course, lots of stuff getting chrono back as well, and Elliot NCs, even with all the chrono porting he's done, which ultimately, as we saw, was Paradox, so it looks like he got permaclone. So he didn't manage to permaclone these Zion Pulse, these Zion Turchers. But that won't help him out much because that is going to be. He did manage to Paradox in these Zion Turchers. Which will help a little bit. But Zion Churches are not powerful enough to actually deal with what's going on. And of course, when you consider the heavy cruisers in the south as well, Shoes is not going to be able to deal with them. He's not going to be able to get through this without just laughing, really. He's not going to have any problems getting through this, and Elliot N's going to be GGing anytime soon. In the future, as you can see, Shoes has everything he needs. He has the entire map, he has everything in place. Elliot has nothing. So Elliot is losing everything he had, and has a pretty much lost. He's going to be GGing anytime soon, and that will be the game. So, another heavy user coming in, and will be attacking as well. Looks like he was trying to just attack directly earlier on, but no need to now, no base left. So, that is going to be the game. And it looks like, yes, that is going to be it. The slight reprieve for Elliot N with the permaclone Zion Turchers was handy, but not nearly enough to keep him alive, so now Elliot N will be dead, and we will finish this game. So I hope you enjoyed that, and I apologize for any mistakes that came up earlier. And that is going to be the cast for tonight, and once again, next week will be the actual tournament. We do have people who do play their matches next week, so we will be seeing the round of 16 actually be played. And that should be a lot more entertaining than no matches for a tournament. Although these exhibition matches were pretty entertaining in the last 
yeah, well done to choose. Really nicely done on the CISO, but Elliot Dan should have put more pressure on. Definitely should have put more pressure on because that was that was something he could have won, or at least done really well at. He did have a lot of resources, and admittedly, this is a small map. It's difficult to control for a long period of time due to its size. It's very easy to get units into place where you need them, so this was Choose versus Elliot N, and that is going to be. Let's get rid of that because I don't want to see them defeated. I haven't been defeated. Elliot N was defeated, for sure. But I wasn't, and Elliot N is just talking about what was going on, and this will be the game. So. Elliot and just double checking what's going on in the future as well, seeing, yeah, you're screwed. So, shoes, corner putting back that heavy cruiser, corner putting back more units further in the future, and that will be it. Thank you for watching, everyone, and have a good. Let's get to X split. And have a good.